Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss problem missing number. We will be discussing different approaches for this problem. So let's get started. Uh, in this problem, we are given an array containing n distinct numbers in the range of 0 to n. Okay, we need to return the only number in this range which is missing from the array. So if you see, we are given uh, this array. Its length is 3, hence n is equal to 3. And it has numbers from 0 to 3. So both inclusive, okay. So 0 to 3 we have, but which number is missing from here? 2 is missing, okay. So we have to return that number which is missing from this array. Similarly, uh, here we have n is equal to 2. So the number should be from 0 to 2. Now 2 is missing here again. So 2 is the output. Similarly, if you see here, we have length as 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So numbers should be from 0 to 9. And uh, here the number which is missing is 8. Okay. So I hope you understood this problem. Uh, let's, uh, I've, I will highly recommend just pause the video. Think uh, of any brute force approach also. No issues. But uh, yeah, think about it. So let's see for this test case. Now, guys, basic approach which I was thinking as brute force is like we will keep a like we just need to identify right which number is missing we just need to identify that which number is missing so i will keep an array let's say of size uh you can say n plus one okay n is three here so i will keep an array of size four zero one two three this will be the indexes then what I will do basically, I will just iterate in this array. First, I will find 3. Initially, let's say these numbers are minus 1 here. Okay. Let's say I come at this 3. I will just update the index 3 on this new array. Just to mark that this 3 is present. Okay. I will just mark this 3 index here as 1. So now I will know that, okay, if it is not minus 1, it's 1. It means that this 3 number I have got. Then I move to 0. 0 index, I will mark it as 1. And then I move to 1. 1 index, I will mark it as 1. So now, the only number, which is still minus 1, which is still minus 1, the only index which is still minus 1 is 2 index. It means that we did not got 2 here in this array. Hence, 2 is the missing number. So this is the approach which I thought of initially. And... Uh, Time complexity is like we will be doing a single traversal. So it will be O of N. And uh, space complexity since we are making this new array of size N plus 1. Space will be O of N again. Okay. Space will be O of N. So obviously uh, this can be done in lesser complexity than this. So this approach like interviewer will be basically interested in knowing the approach which is time complexity and space both maybe time complexity o of n and space constant okay you uh, this will be expecting from you while if you are in an interview okay so let's see how we can do this let me just quickly write the test case again so it's 3 0 1 1 and uh, indexing is something like this so guys see in this question, it is mentioned that the numbers will be in range of 0 to n. Okay. And n is what here? n is 3. There are 3 numbers. Now, when, and so when there is this sequence given, right? Like we know that it will be in this range only from 0 to n. So, ideally, the numbers will be, if like, ideally the number should be 1, 2, 3, right? Right. So, if the numbers are these, what should be the sum of this array? When you have numbers from 1 to n in an array, okay, when you have numbers from 1 to n in an array, sum of that array is n into n plus 1 by 2. You would have done this in your like junior classes also, like in maths, that if you have numbers from 1 to n, if you have to calculate sum of all those numbers, like 1 plus 2 up, to, up till n, then the sum is n into n plus 1 by 2. So let's say uh, we have n is equal to 3 here. So ideally the sum should be because 0 doesn't make any difference, right? If, if, if even if we have 0, 
uh, if it adds to the sum doesn't make any difference right so we will be expecting 1 2 3 in this array so the sum will be 3 into 3 plus 1 by 2 so this will be 3 into 4 by 2 which will be 6 so ideally the sum of this array should be 6 ideally but what is the sum of this array it is 3 plus 0 plus 1 which is 4 so what you can do is you can subtract ideal sum you can sub subtract the current sum from the ideal sum okay so ideal sum is 6 minus current sum is 4 so the number which is missing is 2 so this is other approach this is constant space and o of n time all right this is one approach which you can use um now let's see one more approach which i found really interesting and uh, i was not aware of that so yeah three zero one this is a test case here we will be using the bit manipulation approach so what happens in bit manipulation we will be using zor operator zor why zor operator we will see we will be using zor operator so uh, some properties of zor operator are that if you zor same number with itself it will give you zero if you zor zero with the number it will give you that number so basically zor is if you uh, know if you write in binary digit like binary so if you have zero zero it will give you one uh, sorry if you, it will give zero if you have one zero it will give you one if you have zero one it will give you one so if the numbers are if the digits are different it will give you one if the digits are same it will give you zero okay so this is one thing now let's see uh, so this is the property right if you zor same digits with itself it will give you zero if you zor anything with zero it will give you the same digit why because see these binary is what zero zero one one zeros binary is zero 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 okay if you uh, do a zor one zero will be what one one zero again will be one and zero 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 is what zero and zero zero is zero so it, it give, gave you three again this was three right so when you zor anything with zero it gives you that same number and if you zor any number with itself like zero zero one one and zero zero one one then obviously one one will give zero one one zero and zero 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 and zero so it will give you zero okay so i hope you understood this fact now how we will find the missing number here see it is pretty much clear that let's say if i have uh, i know that the numbers are from 0 to n okay i know the numbers are from 0 to n right numbers are from 0 to n now think about it what we can do we will be doing uh, something like this that i will first of all do a zor of numbers from 1 to n okay i will basically do a zor so from 1 till n is 3 so 1 zor 2 zor 3 this will be something which i will do initially after that i will do a zor with these okay because ideally the numbers should be this right ideally these should be the numbers you can have from 0 to n you can do otherwise like 0 or 1 2 zero. any anything you can do 0 is like of no use anyway but yeah okay so now i know that ideally 1 2 3 will be the numbers from 0 to n i will just simply do a zor then i will zor these with the the numbers which are actually present so 3 is present 0 is present and 1 is present now if you see right if we calculate this 3 and this 3 when we do zor of them it will give me 0 so i will replace them with 0 here we will have 2 and then 1 now when this one will be zored with this one again same numbers when we zor them we give zero get zero so zero 
this will become 0 then 2 0 and 0 now 0 0 will obviously be 0 and this 0 and this 0 will be again what 0 dot 2 and any number dot 2 any number dot 2 will be that number itself so see we got the number which was missing which is 2 so basically what we did was we know that there is some number missing here ideally the number should be from 1 to n we do a zor with them then what numbers which are actually there we zor them because we know that the numbers which are present will eventually cancel each other okay and the number which is not present will not be able to cancel itself because it's not present here so at last we will get that number so I hope you understood this approach. Let's see this in code once. I have written in Java. So initially we have this answer variable which we will return which will get just the missing number. And I have taken as the length of this array. Then firstly what we are doing is we are doing a ZOR till that n. So we did a ZOR from 1 to n right? 1, 2, 3. So we have done that. And after that we are ZORing with the number which are in the array. That the numbers which are in the array, this one. So at last we will get the missing number. So I hope you understood this approach. If you submit this, it's accepting. The time complexity again will be O of n and space will be constant. O of n because we are having a for loop here. So I hope you understood the problem and the approach and different approaches. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comments. If you found the video helpful, please like it. Subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.